The Venetia Historical Museum has three large buildings that serve as display and exhibit areas. The structures themselves date back to the 1850s. They are a California historical landmark and also on the National List of Historic Places. In 1854, Jefferson Davis was the Secretary of War. He was looking at the western expansion of the United States and trying to determine what the best pack animal was going to be that would serve the interests of the army. Horses were not up to the task, nor were the mules or donkeys, and he thought, going to get some camels from the Middle East. He brought over a number of camels. The soldiers did not appreciate the cantankerous camel nature, and unfortunately in 1863, the remainder of the camels in the Camel Corps were auctioned off at the Camel Barns here in Venetia. It was the first military outpost for the U.S. Army and it served as the headquarters of the Pacific and the Western region. The other permanent displays talk about the history of not just this complex here as a military base, but also the evolution of the town of Benicia. The Patman Indians were here. We have a facsimile of a, of a Patman hut made out of reeds. Of course, the children can go in there and, and play in there. Benicia figures prominently in the history of the pioneers and the gold rush. I think a number of towns might claim that they were responsible for the gold rush, but we know we were the ones that started it. Somebody in the Von Pfister store mentioned that there's gold in them, there are hills, and of course that started everything. We cover everything from the indigenous peoples on up through World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the evolution of Venetia as a center of industry, of shipping, and now turning into a community that's focused on the arts. This building was built in 1857. It was built by European craftsmen and they were under contract to the U.S. military. And that's probably why you see such beautiful carving on the columns.